no light in this. All right. So it's second floor. Oh, that stuff's harsh. Stops harsh as well. Alarm. It starts harsh on the way up. Oh, what is harsh? It's quick. It's over then. Take it down. Crash. Okay, let's hit the buffer now. Let's take it up. Start. up the top floor we've got the doors opening the doors are now open now it's going to close the doors doors closing doors closed so now we do floor one now floor one doors opening doors closing now let's take it to floor zero. So start. And it's going to overrun again because the switch to stop it on zero doesn't work. So every time it goes down, it always overruns. Yeah, it's now overran. So if I now open the doors to demonstrate, open doors. This lift has actually overrun because it's missing the shaft switch to stop it in the correct place on the ground floor. <laughs> so you take a look. This lift, as you can see, has overran. Actually, we could get a lift pit ride. To do a lift pit ride, all we have to do is hold the door open. So, as we don't have a key to open shut the doors, so we're going to run the lift with the doors open to force a, pretty much force a bypass run so we can get in the lift pit. Up we go, now we can get in the lift pit. Okay, so now we can get in to the pit. Ah, so now we've got the problem of why it's overrunning. That is the switch to stop it at lowest floor, and it's missing a very important part, the wheel. That's the overrun switch. If you do that, the lift cannot move. That's what it's hitting when it overruns. There's your lift up there. Now we need to put a wheel. That switch is fucked. So you put the roller back on the switch, but I'm not sure if it'll work because the switch is a bit bent. That's your switch. Now we're going to see if the lift will drive down here correctly. Let's see. So if I shut this, let's see now if the lift will come down without overrunning. Come on, lift, don't overrun this time. You can see the lift coming down. Now overrun again. The yeah, switch isn't straight, it's bent. Someone's bent it. Oh, well, I'm now going to take the lift up, but this time I'm going to go in the lift pit and have the lift come down on top of me because that's fun and also very dangerous. So, what we do now, we send the lift up. 
up main contact. Up it goes. I'm going to go in the pit and have a Oh, the roller fell off. Oh, the roller fell off. Oh, that switch is fucked. Eli, the lift bed, have the lift come down on top of you. Come on, cross yourself. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> so if they do that. Doors are shutting now. So the lift can't oh, get in and now the lift will come down on top of me. Yeah, that's fine. Press the button. Fuck it, you don't have much room here. Fucking hell, it's going to overrun as well. I didn't like that because I knew it was going to overrun because it's got the problem with the switch. That was fucking scary. I know I'm lowering the buffer so it can't hit me, but still, fuck me up. Gave me a heart attack just then. That's the switch if the safety gear goes on. Can you move it up from the main contact in the motor room? And up it goes. Fucking hell, that was... Out of a heart attack because the lift obviously is overrunning because that... Thing's broken, so it's overrunning. It's coming down. I knew it wouldn't get beyond the buff, but still, that got close. Okay, it's now surfing time. We've done lift pit time. It's surfing time now. Okay, so you need to shut the door. Take up the top, open the door, run the lift down. Luckily, the doors are not sprung. Oh, it's off somewhere. Oh, it's just come back down to the ground floor and just overran again. Bad lift. Let's take it back up. Okay, that's the top now. Open the door. Now take it down. What's that mechanism? I've never seen one like that. That's a really heavy duty lock. They don't make them like that nowadays. This one, yeah. It's so strange. It's such an interesting mechanism. So what's through the mystery door? We've got a secret floor at the top of the lift shaft. Roof access. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that switch is stuck. That is stuck at a switch, it doesn't move. The overrun switch at the top of the shaft's bypassed. That's not good. That switch is fucked. That's not, that issue does nothing. Look, that doesn't move. Oh, that ain't good. Yes, yeah, the overrun switch. <laughs> <laughs> Cog like a, there's a chain. Found that. It doesn't seem like that anymore. It's got that contact there. 
so when the doors open without contact air to show when the doors shut. Look how old that contact is, that's original. That is a nice mechanism. I've never seen one like this. Even on the old Matt Scotts, you very rarely get them completely original. So if the door shut, it can run automated with the door shut. But if ever the door has too much pressure on it, so if ever like a door gets jammed or someone wants to free from a lift or a door gets too much pressure, what happens is, so I put, put my knee on it, put lots of pressure on, it disattaches. So the door is now disattached from its own mechanism. I've never seen anything like that. That is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I've never seen one like that before. It's clever though. So if you want to get in and out of an emergency or door gets stuck, it just disattaches from it so no one gets injured. Like, different from any mechanism you'd have nowadays. That door is really heavy duty as well. That roller there pops in. No, no, that's shot set. But the back mechanism there. So that's like a spring loaded clutch mechanism. So that's disattached, the door's freewheeling, the door's freewheeling, and it gets to there. And now the door's attached to its mechanism again. That is literally such a nice thing. <laughs> you would not see that on a modern lift. That is a nice mechanism. Thank you.